Our video today is multiplying and dividing with exponents. Um, this is a simpler way of combining powers with like bases, so it's an extension off of the like terms video that we watched. Uh, some of the terms that I want to go through with you today are variables. Again, these are letters, they're unknown, and it's what we're looking for in the equation. Uh, terms, they're parts of the problem that's separated by the plus and minus signs. Coefficient is the number with the sign, positive or negative, in front of the variable. And again, the variable are our letters. Our constant is just a number with a sign, positive or negative, and it will not change. And then our last one is like terms, exact variables, think of apples and bananas, no fruit salad because you can't combine the two. When you combine, you must have like terms. So when you're combining terms, they must be exactly the same. With multiplication or division, you don't need to worry about like terms. It's like bases that you have to worry about, but the powers will be different and that's fine with division and multiplication. So let's see how or why this works out the way it does. So we're going to start small. So we're going to multiply first. So our first example, we have g squared times g to the fourth. So the first thing as we think about this is we want to expand out how many we have of each of these. So we have two g's, we have four g's. Well, if we have a total of the same amount, which is the same base, how many of those g's do we have? So it's g to the sixth. So if we look at our powers, I have two here, I have four here, I end up with six here. So, when we multiply like bases, we, mul we add our powers or combine them depending on what the, the signs are on the powers. Because you can have negative powers, which we've done before. So we're going to combine them. So it's instead of looking at it in this way, we're going to look at it as g squared plus or times g to the fourth. We're going to combine the two powers. And in this case, we're going to add because they're both positive. The reason why we do this is it makes it easier. We don't have to expand it out, especially with long problems. And you really don't need to expand, like I said, it's a shorter way. But remember your combining rules of positive, if I have a different signs, what do I do? Dif same signs, what do I do? So if we try this again and look at it a little bit different, we have a to the fifth, a to the negative three, and a squared. So our base, which is like, is a. Our powers is 5, negative 3, and 2. Well, if I combine all of those, I end up with 4. Put that with my base, it becomes a to the 4th. For my longer problem, I'm going to look for my like bases. So my two bases are d and f. Well, the powers on my d are 2 and 4, minus 5, or a negative 5, which is going to give me a total of 1 once I combine them. For my power of f, I'm going to have a negative 2, a positive 3, and a positive 2. So again, I'm going to combine those to get me positive 3. So I'm going to put this all together, which brings down my common terms, or my common bases, or like bases. I only have one d here, but I have three f's. So we can write it like this, or we can write it df cubed, because it's a multiplication problem, and letters next to each other mean multiplication. So a few more. So we have now, we have some coefficients in front. So we have 7t squared, 4t to the 7th, u to the 6th. So I'm going to multiply my coefficients together. So 7 times 4 times 1 gives me 28. I'm going to combine the, the powers of the like bases. So in my t's, I'm going to take all of my powers and I have 2 plus 7 gives me 9. u to the 6th, which is just the u base. And I'm going to put it all together. So my coefficients multiply to be 28. My t power adds up to be 9. And the only thing that I had for my u was a 6. So I end up with 28t to the 9th, u to the 6th. So if I go through my last one, here I got some negatives and positives with my coefficients. So again, I'm going to take care of multiplying my coefficients. I'm going to take care of my like bases, add those two powers. And then I'm going to take whatever's left, and I'm just going to bring that in there. So remember when you're multiplying all the way through this, an odd number of negatives gives you a negative. 
an even number of negatives gives you a positive. So that's the multiplication side of it. So let's turn it around and now divide. So again, we're going to start small here. So we have c squared over c. If we expand this out, we have two c's here, one c here. Well, these reduce down, and we're just left with c. So c squared over c1, which is that what it is, we find out that our answer comes out to be just c with the power of 1, but we don't show the 1. So with, when, you have, when you divide like bases, you subtract your powers now. So it's just the opposite. So if I have r to the 8th, r to the 4th, I have like bases, so I know my base is going to be r. 8 minus 4 gives me 4, so that's my power. So r to the 4th over r, again, 4, and this is our 1 here, minus 1 gives us 3, so we have r to the 3rd power. A couple more. So we have 6r to the 8th, 2r to the 4th. So now I have coefficients, so I'm going to take and divide my coefficients first. That gives me 3. I'm going to take my powers, 8 minus 4 gives me 4. And when I put it all together, my common base is 3. So my answer is 3r to the 4th. My other problem is, again, I'm going to reduce. And I can do this within here. I don't have to write it like this. So I can say that 4 goes into 28 7 times. So that gives me my 7. I'm going to subtract my powers, give me 3, my base is letter B. Our last example is negative 40H to the 6, 8H. So again, I'm going to take, I know 8 goes into 45 times. 6 minus 1 gives me 5. So I have a negative 5, because I have a negative divided by a positive. And I have H as my base, and my powers subtract to be 5. So here's some of the things that you want to take care of. First of all, take care of your signs. So in this one, we took care of this being negative. We divided our numbers or reduced them. We took the powers and we subtracted the powers. In this case, we subtract because they're all positive. And finally, we put together the answer as we look at it. So some key points to figure to leave with. When you're multiplying like bases, meaning the same letter and power, you combine the powers, tells you what to do. So the combining part, two negatives make, if I have same signs I add, different signs I subtract, larger number carries a sign. Two, when dividing like bases, you combine the powers. So again, in this case, you're going to be subtracting your powers, so we may have to simplify some signs if we get into negatives. So steps for both, take care of your signs first if you have it in front with a coefficient. Multiply or divide the coefficients. Combine your powers, and then just put it all together as one problem. So take your time, do these in chunks, and things will work out pretty well for this.